Halloween is just around the corner. But Disney decided to trick us early by canceling the new Blade movie. That actually might be a treat for some. I want to talk about it briefly. Let's begin. I'm not a vampire, but this news kind of sucks. You know what doesn't? This channel. So if you wouldn't mind grabbing a steak and just <laughs> stabbing right into that subscribe, I would appreciate it. Not doing so would be a grave mistake. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me just get my vampiric teeth on and bite into this story. When it was announced 85 years ago that they were gonna make a new blade fitting into the MCU, I was skeptical. I thought, uh, I still want my snipes back. I want another Wesley Snipes movie. He made two bangers, a pile of crap third movie directed by David S. Goyer. I need a fourth film to close things out. What was with these early superhero movies having this third outing that just would not work? X-Men 3, Spider-Man 3, Blade 3. It was like a virus that infected every third outing. Now, some will say, Adam, how dare you? Spider-Man 3 is great. And while I do appreciate Bully Maguire and I can have fun with the third film, it is still a big step down from the second one. And as for Blade Trinity, <laughs> it's trash. And seeing as we just had Wesley Snipes back in the role for Deadpool and Wolverine, I think it's fair to say, bring on Blade 4. If you're gonna cancel the one you had currently in development, hell, you might as well give fans what they want. And I'd love if Guillermo del Toro came back to direct. But what went wrong? What the hell is going on at Disney? Well, Bob Iger recently said, there will be a maximum of three superhero movies a year. We have the new Captain America movie coming out. We got Thunderbolts and we have Fantastic Four Baby Steps or whatever the hell that dumb title is. First Steps, doesn't matter. Blade was supposed to come out at the end of next year, November 7th, 2025. Instead, it's gonna be Predator Badlands. And seeing as Prey kicked ass, I'm very excited for that movie. You know who's probably not excited? Mahershala Ali. This guy has been patiently and probably frustratingly waiting for several years to get a director lined up, a script lined up, production starting at some point, but it never happened. I can only imagine the amount of money sunk into this project never to see the light of day. Walker. I don't mean anything. <laughs> the new Blade was announced in 2019 at Comic-Con. I think, yeah, Wesley Snipes may have said it best in Deadpool and Wolverine. There's only been one Blade. There will only ever be one Blade. Mm. Maybe you should tell that to actor Sticky Fingers, who played Blade in the hit TV series. Blade's back. I didn't hear you. Which spanned from 2006 to 2006. Listen, nostalgia continues to be a hell of a drug. Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is making a ton of money at the box office. We've seen the massive success of that crappy live action Lion King, all those other Disney live action movies they're crapping out. And Spider-Man No Way Home was a massive success having the trio back in action. So yes, people want a Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 4. They're begging for an amazing Spider-Man 3. I have no idea why the first two were crap. And I think they would absolutely be over the moon with a Wesley Snipes return as Blade. How hard is it to make a Blade movie? A badass with a katana that slices up vampires that seems like it wouldn't be too tough to write a script around. Is AI sleeping on the job? What's going on over there? I believe Wesley Snipes is at the tender age of 62 right now. He can do it. Hell, we could have a family reunion. I'm sure Ryan Reynolds would be down for another reprisal of his role, Hannibal King, and from, from Blade Trinity, everybody's favorite Blade film. I don't know what the hell Jessica Biel's been doing lately. Throw her back in the mix. I'm joking. I want a Wesley Snipes movie through and through, kicking ass, <laughs> busting out the shades, showing motherfuckers how to ice skate uphill properly, all of it. As for Mahershala Ali, He's 50 right now. So by the time they get a Blade script out the door and ready to go, he will be 62. Let's go with what we have. We have three Blade movies. We can make a fourth. Unfortunately, we did lose the real life Whistler. Chris Christopherson died recently at 88 years old. And it does suck because his death in the third movie was bullshit. But Snipes, I know, has one more good Blade in him. Let's let him have it. Go out with some damn dignity. Wow, you tinker in the workshop 
for a new Blade reboot. You can do two things at once, that's fine. Make a bunch of money on this one, give him a proper send off, and then work on a new version for the MCU proper. All right, I think it would be fun if Disney did the Elseworlds stuff like the DCU is doing. They have their Jokers, they have their The Batmans, and then they're having their new James Gunn stuff with Superman coming out and all that stuff. Do it over here on MCU. You can, it's not illegal. You're Disney, you can do whatever the hell you want. You own everything at this point. Make a Spider-Man 4, make a stupid, amazing Spider-Man 3 even, if we want to see Garfield, which he is great. It would be nice if he got a good movie. And then you can also do the baby Tom Holland fourth Spider-Man film. It's all perfectly fine. But we know, Blade is down, but not out. You cannot kill this guy, all right? Those are my two cents though. I'd love to hear from you. What do you think of this news? Is it shocking? I can't imagine that's the case. This thing has been through pre-production hell and back. Let me know in the comments, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't. I post movie reviews, commentary, rants, roasts, live streams every single week. Would love to have you stick around. If you love what I'm doing and you're looking for a way to support the channel, patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's different tiers. There's a bunch of exclusive videos every month. Would love to have your support. I also have a second channel, Adam Does Rants, that I'm starting to build up, posting there once or twice a week if I can. And it would be great to see you around there as well. All right. Hopefully I see you next time. Take care.